Gude. Today's video is a technical walkthrough and has been requested by one of my YouTube subscribers. Uh, he asked in a comment if I could make a video showing the process on setting up a TTS model training on Google Colab. And I thought that could be interesting, not just for that one user, but hopefully for, for more users out there. And um, as I am an active part of Koki TTS, for obvious reason, that will be my TTS model training. And I will show you how to set up it on Google Colab. And for those of you not knowing what Google Colab is, it's an environment for executing Jupyter Notebooks, simple, provided by Google. So you need to prepare a few things. First is you need to have a Google account. The second is you, have to, uh, you need access to your Google Drive. And into that Google Drive, you should upload your data set. So I have that you have easy access on the Jupyter Notebook or on the Google Colab uh, access to your dataset files. And uh, you should take or copy the Koki TTS receipt template and um, copy it to your Google Drive. But that's a point I will show you later in that video. Get right into it. First of all, let's open our browser and go to the GitHub repository of Koki Text-to-Speech. Um, Koki Text-to-Speech delivers some notebooks out of the box um, with special configuration and uh, training and data set analysis stuff. But I would like to start a new notebook from scratch, clean and simple, so it is pretty straightforward. Uh, what is important is the receipts folder, because the receipts folder includes some um, prepared configurations that can be used as a template. So let's go into that receipts LJ speech folder. I will show you a Glow TTS model training. So as you can see here, it's a it's a quite simple. Let's make it a little bit bigger. It's a pretty simple file, let's see it in raw, with some simple configuration for the LJ speech model, no, LJ speech data set. So I will use that special config file as template and adjust some special values, such as the path to the directory or make it for my mother tongue for German language. So. That's a preparation you should do too. So copy that one and go to your um, Google Drive. I have a, a folder here and um, I pasted that template from the Koki TTS repo to my Google Drive and let's open it with a text editor so you can see its content. So it's basically the same uh, the same text file with some little uh, adjustments like the phoneme language from English to German, the text cleaners switched to the basic German cleaners, and the probably most important or relevant part is the dataset configuration. So where is my uh, configuration, where is my dataset, my WAV file recordings in? Um, as you can see from my previous videos, I have packed an LJ speech dataset structure with that metadata CSV file and a WAFs subdirectory. And uh, here another important variable is the output path. And I adjusted that to the special configuration of a Google Drive. So, but the rest is exactly the same as uh, delivered in the uh, Koki TTS repo. So let's close this. You can see here in my YouTube subdirectory folder it's the train glow TTS Python script templated from Koki version 
and a subfolder for my data set containing that metadata CSV and the WAFs subdirectory. So pretty simple. And um, now let's start creating a new Jupyter Notebook from scratch. So what I will do here is simple. I will add a new file. Let's see Google Collaborate, which is the long form for Google Colab. Open it up. Let's click here and give it a simple name. Uh, Colab TTS demo. So the first step is to check if um, my Google Colab will use uh, Google Drive because my data set and, uh, is on the Google Drive and I want to save its output from TTS model training to my Google Drive to make it persistent. So let's open the, that file uh, browser here. Uh, you see it's connecting to a new instance and I'm now connected to a Jupyter Notebook instance. Because TTS model training is probably doing a better performance when using GPU instead of the CPU, let's ensure uh, we have the right configuration. Um, so we have hardware accelerator set to none. So let's change it to GPU. Um, so I have too many active sessions, so let's connect this one and close any previous sessions. Let's check again. Set to GPU and it's reconnecting. Once my system is up, you can see by that green symbol here. That, and by default, here's that sample data folder. To connect your Google Drive, um, it's uh, here. It's in German, so it's uh, that symbol. Let's connect to Google Drive. So, perfect. We now have that drive subfolder with a my drive name and that YouTube folder you have seen. So now, apart from that Torsten subdirectory and the templated trained load TTS Python file, I have that Colab TTS demo uh, Jupyter Notebook file, which is the name I have entered here. So let's start um, changing the right file system or, oh no, so let's just uh, clone our Koki TTS repository. So let's make a git clone. Uh, I will use the latest stable version tag from Koki, which is version 0. 3.1 when I'm hopefully right. Uh, let's check this here. Yeah, so it's as you can see here, try to mark it. It's version 0 0.3.1. So let's clone that special tag and let's copy and paste it clone that repo. So then add another line of code. The next should probably be switching into that context or let's just execute one step after another. So when I run that special command line it's not really surprising. So it's just cloning the repo with that special version tag. We now have in that um, directory structure a new folder, TTS, and surprisingly it's just the GitHub repo. So then let's go into that folder. By default, go Google Colab or Google Drive is mapped to a content 
base directory and then that T2S. So now I've switched into that newly cloned repo code. Let's execute a Python packager and let's say install dependencies from our requirement no, dot txt file. While this is executing, you can see in the code of the Koki repo we have that requirements txt file, which is just listing all the required dependencies. So these dependencies will now be installed in that Jupyter Notebook. So let's wait until it's finished. So no. What will be the next? Once the dependencies are satisfied, we should run Python 3, our setup dot py blank develop. But we should wait until that one is finished with all the dependency stuff. Shouldn't take too long. But while this is running, what we will try to do is we would like to save our output for model training not within that temporarily directory structure because every time the Google Colab is resetted to its factory default, so your instance is killed and you have to start your uh, instance from scratch, um, you would lose your training checkpoints you trained so far. So that's not uh, not very um, not very good. So what I did, let's just open that text file again. It's a text editor. We set that output path to that conf content drive, my drive, YouTube output value. So all the output is going to be written into Google Drive. So it's persistent and not part of that temporarily instance of uh, the Google Colab Jupyter Notebook. So once this is done, let's run our setup py develop. So this is going to prepare some TTS package stuff. Okay, and it's finished. And Probably that should be all our dependencies and preparations. So let's add a new line of code and check what's going to happen when we run Python with that with that script. And again, it's templated from the LJ Speech version of Glow TTS and just with adjusted output path and the dataset path and yeah, some simple things for my personal dataset like the language to my mother tongue and the text cleaners. Let's try to run that. It's within my static Google Drive, my drive, uh, YouTube and should be train cloud TTS Python. So let's try to run that. So, okay. In general, it's going to start. As we switched that runtime from CPU to GPU, that's um, detected automatically. It's using CUDA. It's uh, it found its one graphic unit, graphic cards unit, some dataset output. It's found my around 8,000 audio recordings in that folder. 
we are training a Glow TTS model, and the output is going to be saved in the content drive, my drive, YouTube, Koki TTS, and that's the typical uh, name, training run name with that timestamp auto attend, uh, appended. So that's it. Let's check in our or refresh the list here. Drive, my drive, YouTube. So we can see here we have now new directory structure for the phoneme cache, that newly created uh, Koki TTS timestamp folder. Let's go open it up with a config JSON, a generated config JSON, which is really helpful, and uh, the first files to be created. So obviously training has just started, so no written checkpoint, but that should be the case after uh, a decent amount of training steps. So let's check it in the Google Drive. Yeah, as you can see here, originally we had just that Torsten subfolder and that's archive folder but uh, for the data set and the templated trained Cloud TTS Python script, then our Jupyter notebook, and now we have the additional folders for the phoneme cache, which is generated by a training process, and there is lots of content within, and our TTS output path, which will be filled with model checkpoints on further training steps. Let's just check it again. Okay, it's taking time, obviously. But that should be uh, all I can show you. So it's a really, it's a simple and it's a pretty straightforward process. So from setting all that simple stuff and get training up and running. All you need to have is a Google account and um, Google Drive with access to Jupyter Notebook. Um, as you can, or if you know, Jupyter Notebook exists in two versions, a free version and a, a premium, no, don't know what's the exact word, um, version, which differs from mm, access to GPU resources or differs in the time when your Jupyter Notebook instance is disconnected automatically. So please check your running notebook regularly and do not start the process and wait one week and check again. So probably we'll see a disconnected message because the Jupyter Notebooks instances are not meant to be running um, several days without taking a look at them. So that's it. Training is up and running. I hope that video was helpful. If you have any comments on what is interesting for you on that topic, feel free to write a comment or subscribe or share that videos if you find them helpful. That's it for, for now. Wish you all a nice day and we will see and hear us in future. Bye!